Whatever type of dog you have, you've had moments that will make up the highlights of your life. Am I right? You've had those days with your dog where it feels like they have taken the weight of the world off your shoulders, and you want that feeling. But then life gets in the way, and you might see your dog feeling more distressed and anxious than usual. One major cause of this is separation anxiety. Some common signs of this are destructive behavior, unwanted toileting, or reports of howling and barking. Other signs are not always obvious, as you won't always be there to hear the whining or see the pacing. That's why this can sometimes be invisible. Taking the time to check for these signs by filming your dog when home alone will help you reveal any potential issues, even if you don't believe there are any. The more visible ones can include trembling, excessive salivation, repetitive behavior, excessive licking or chewing at their paws, and even vomiting. In fact, research suggests that eight out of 10 dogs will find it hard to cope when left alone, but only half of these will show signs, so it can be very easy for owners to miss. That's why today I wanna to show you some handy tips which you can start doing that might just help. First of all, create something exciting for your dog to do when you're not at home with them. You can give your dog a mentally stimulating toy, such as a stuffed Kong toy, a meat flavored chew, or a treat ball or cube. Make sure that this is a special toy that they only get when you're not there. So hide it again once you're back home. Also try to take your dog for a walk before you're due to leave the house so that they have the opportunity to go to the toilet and exercise. Return around half an hour before you plan to leave, feed them a small meal, which might satisfy them a bit more and that will help them relax when you're gone. Now, some dogs will bark at the sight of other people or dogs passing by the front window, sometimes even in response to noises out the home like cars. So if you close your curtains, that would reduce what your dog can see and that will leave a quieter room where they can relax. Sometimes even putting on the radio, maybe some nice classical music, that can help them get distracted from noises outside. You shouldn't leave your dog alone for more than around four hours. However, if your dog struggles being alone, then they may even start feeling anxious within minutes of you leaving. This can be taken care of by using a dog sitting service where someone can keep your dog company and take them for a walk while you're out so that they're not left alone. This is a great way of easing the stress that they may feel when you're not there. Now, on the occasion that your dog misbehaves while you're out, it's really important that you don't react badly. Your dog will become anxious about what you will do next time that you return and you see that they've made maybe a bit of a mistake. So that will just make the anxiety and behavior worse. If you do come home to a mess, it's essential not to physically punish or shout at your dog. Try to avoid letting your dog see that you're actually not annoyed. Let them outside before you do all the cleaning up. I also like to use natural calming supplements along with the changes mentioned above to give your dog an even better chance of overcoming separation anxiety. Calming chews can be given an hour before you head out or even on a daily basis to help reduce anxiety. If you're looking for a really great natural one that dogs love the taste of, be sure to click the link in the description. Now, if this advice hasn't eased the separation related behavior, talk to your vet who knows you and your dog. They will probably refer you to a clinical animal behaviorist who will help you identify the underlying cause of the problem and develop a treatment plan which works in your more specific circumstances. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button to stay informed about your pet and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click to your left to watch another insightful video. And make sure you visit my website in the description for more of my best tips. I'm Dr. Michael Lazarus and your pet's nutrition is my mission.